Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to Digimon World DS, also known as Digimon Story, over in Japan. This is episode 10 of the series. If you have not seen any previous episodes, be sure to check out the card on the right-hand side of the screen for both the previous episode and the playlist. Those of you who have been watching, we're off to get Pogumon back from the Packet Swamp. He's run off while uh, experiencing memories from his past lives. Or, 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 or sorry, um, Mangrove Woods, my bad. Sorry, I lost track of that for a second there. Oh, come on, really? One second, guys. All right, let's try that again. So we've arrived in Mangrove Woods. It's got a very mellow kind of a music to it. Kind of cool, actually. Purple boxes already. Jeez. Just got here, it's already loot. Can go that way, go this way. Oh, good, it's more of a maze. We all know how much I love those. Oh, Kakatorimon, I remember him. He can, he, he's a, a cockatrice. He's got, like, petrifying eyes. Champion level, uh, as I recall, and rather tough. Fin finally, some Digimon that can actually take a hit. Or two. Two. Two it is. Granted, he's level 27. Bird Digimon. Well, let's go ahead and see what's this way first. There's no point in getting ourselves lost, but poking around a little bit while doing so. Big rock. We found the big rock area. More, more, uh, Kakatorimon. Even more Kakatorimon, and a third Kakatorimon. Jeez. Popular bird. Having chicken for supper. This is where uh, poor Mordecai gets left behind because he's not very fast. It's like an absolute truck, but his speed is a little bit lacking. So one of these guys is going to get a hit off on us, but that is okay, I suppose. If, if, if uh, they hit Oryx, I'll be surprised if they do more than, you know, like say, let's say 10 damage or so. Nope. Went to Dreo. Still only did one. Our defenses are almost as good as our attack powers, so it's all good in the hood. The Digi Hood. 159 bird experience. No levels for anybody, sadly, but still doing pretty well for ourselves. Big Rock seems to be a little bit boring. What about this way? What's this way? More... Oh, no, a different one. Peng Penguinmon. Okay, because I... Ha um, Drail could have digivolved into a red version of that. That's different. Although it wouldn't surprise me at all if Penguinmon digivolved into Pakatorimon, considering I've never seen either of them before in, in any of my other uh, digivolution lines. I feel like we're discovering some new lines. Although, since this is the bird line... You know, they're... they're, 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 they're sorry, they're, rather, they're because they are bird-related lines... Makes me wonder if, if they might be able to lead us back to to a Beomon. I've not seen a Beomon line yet. Beomon, Digivolve 2! Birdramon! Lots of penguins. Well, at least it would be easy to get this uh, conversion data because you, know, you can find these things by the, by the box set in their rookie forms, so they come pretty quickly, which is quite nicely, uh, quite nice, actually. Bergeron. I feel like Bergeron was always one of those Digimon that was like was really, really close to being super cool, but did, didn't quite make it. Like it was, it was neat, but it was never as cool to me as like Greymon or or like Where But it's, it, like it, it just it, it didn't quite scratch that itch for me. I guess I don't know. Everyone has has a different taste, and it it, it it almost almost was super cool to me, but not quite. Oh, Kiwimon, I remember you. I think he's actually an ultimate Digimon, if I don't, if I remember correctly. Which makes me think that it probably goes Penguinmon, Kakatorimon, Kiwimon for this particular line, if I had to guess. Guess we'll find out, though. Good experience, anyway. Really can't complain. Although, I am wondering why Pagumon would come here, of all places. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think we ever... I mean, this is the first time we've been here, so to the best of my knowledge, he hasn't been here before either. I guess we'll see. 89 and a dash ring. Ooh, 25 for Drail. Is that high enough for him to Digimon in, 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 into Graumon? Does our, our, our hit squad get a champion Digimon? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, it's time. 
Just imagine we're back in season three when they, when you, when they uh, digivolve for the first time and their skin starts peeling off and you're like, what the hell? But it looks really cool. Gilmon, digivolve to Growlmon! I can't quite do like the pitch of the voice, but you know, that's the idea. Also, 246 base attack. My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That's a massive, massive attack stat. Gain a new trait. You're big and scary. Everybody's happy with that. War Growlmon, who honestly I'm much less fond of. He looks like... War... Uh, Metal Greymon looks like an actual cyborg dinosaur. War Growlmon has just this really bulky upper body. It looks like someone just bolted dino legs onto like a bucket. I don't know, man. <laughs> just not not my favorite thing in the world. But he's, he's, he's level... Uh, th uh, he requires level 35. We already have the attack stat dealt with. Black War Growlmon takes 45. Our... Uh, um... Aptitude allows for 37, so we can go for War Growlmon anyway. What was the new trait? Powerful 3. I'll take it. So he is even more powerful than he has been before. I look forward to using him on our enemies. Look at him on- oh, he looks, looks pretty cool there, actually. Alright, so this area's been a bust as far as finding things go, but as far as his uh, experience goes, quite useful. There's even more zones to explore. This- this- the central hub is definitely pretty hubby. Too many, too many offshoots. Penguin Mon. Oh, Drail's getting up, up, up the roster. Hope he still has Blaze Blast. We've got a dragon. We didn't. No, oh, he does. He still has the move. Turn up the heat all the way. Almost 400. Well, b b b between 350 and 400 damage each. That is a mean, mean attack. Well, uh, this is this is good. This is oh god, more places to explore. Why are there so many paths? Penguin Mon, Penguin Mon, already up to over two hundred percent scan date on these things. Kind of impressive. I'm gonna start fleeing though because I honestly, like, it's good experience, but we're, we're a little bit pinched for time is all. Come on now. Give me some hint I'm going the right way. Ooh, box. MP plug S. Eh. I like the the uh, the gear chests better. Oh, we were just here. Okay, so that's a loop. How about this one then? Maybe. Maybe. Kiwimon. Kiwimon again. Okay, these guys I'll fight. Three ultimate Digimon, I will fight. I think it's Ultimate. He, he, he might be champion, too. I really have no idea. I, I seem to recall him being Ultimate, but I could I could very well be wrong. There goes the Blaze Blast. There goes the Kiwi Mon. 150 bird experience. Very nice. Come on. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Oh, the encounter rate's killing me. It always is, though. Penguin Mon! Kiwi Mon! Penguin Mon again. Oh, way over there for some reason. No, we're leaving. That's it. Just let me go. Let me have this. Thank you. Scurry, 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 scurry. This is different, at least. Left is a dead end. Right is... I don't know yet. Parrotmon! Oh, now we're talking. Okay. He's definitely ultimate Digimon level. And he's from... Well, I mean, you, you recognize him from Digimon the first movie. Or... It was just called Digimon the movie. Where he, he, he battled the uh, giant Greymon at the start. Love that sequence. Two ultimate Digimon... 132 experience. Okay, so that means Kiwi Mon is almost definitely not an ultimate then. If two ultimates give me 132, because three Kiwi Mon was a. Well, no, it was 150. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I'm unconvinced, though. Oh, cool, we found it. Oh, and as you can see from the small screen, we finally got Kumamon a uh, Digivolve. Or, 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 sorry, not, 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 not uh, Digivolve, sorry, Digiconverted. He's gonna be in the Beast Farm forever. 
because he requires a truly staggering amount of beast experience to reach his his uh, mega form. He'll be in there for quite a while. But for now, he's happy to have you right there. All right, what are we fighting? What's up? Oh, it's a, it's a gang. Penguinmon, Kiwimon, and something with a bush. Ha! Ha! You had enough? Get out of our sight. Oh, ow, stop that! What did I do? Who? Oh, Daramon. Okay. Who cares? Just looking at you irritates me. Pulverize him a little more, you guys. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Oh, stop. Please stop. Hey. Oh, oh no. Pokemon's gonna get hurt. Oh, you mugs. Leave him alone. Hey, stop picking on him. Huh? Who are you? Matt. That was a terrible voice. <clears throat> Matt. Nope, even worse. Are you standing up for him? Then we'll pick on you, too. You guys know the routine. Yeah, of course. I've got no choice but to fight. I told you we'd have chicken tonight. Or, you know, penguin in this case. Poultry. Packs of panicked poultry. Penguinmon, Kiwimon, yeah, no sweat. I don't know if Daramon is an ultimate or a mega form, but I guess we'll figure that out later. Drop rocks. Incinerate the land. <laughs> And then finish it off with some regular old charge. Mordecai, you need to, like, digivolve or get faster at the very least. You don't get to do anything these days. Level 19. Wow, his speed is terrible. It's 69. I just realized, I didn't even realize it was that low. My goodness. You guys are useless. I'll just deal with them myself. All right, Daramon, let's do this. What are you? You're only a one zoner, so you're not a giant super boss, which is kind of a shame because with uh, with with the uh, Drail in, in, in Growl mod for uh, pff, Growl mod form, we would probably have wrecked him if he had um, more than one zone. I'll still blaze blast him; just won't do as much damage as it would if he was, if, if he was wider. Tornado wind, oh. Oh. spiffy. Not that damaging, but spiffy. 95. Let's try Spucky Nails. See if that does more. It does. Wow. Gotta love those single target things. Karate Punch. Very nice. Alright, so we're chewing through his health pretty good. Shouldn't take us too long to mow him down. Pogumon shall be safe. On my honor! You missed. Oh, how unfortunate for you. Bye-bye, Daramon. 225. Ooh, level for Oryx. Gear of Havoc? That sounds awesome. Well, I'm sorry. When I look at him, he reminds me of when the strong Digimon bullied me and it irritated me. I can't explain it. I just feel bad. Even so, you shouldn't pick on someone who's weaker than you. Yes, I won't do it ever again. You guys too understand? Y y yeah. I understand. <coughs> Pardon me. Pokemon, are you okay? Matt, thanks, but uh, I think the Digimon that bullied them before was me in my previous form. I think it was payback for that. You recall anything about the past? Yeah, vaguely. Did you leave the Digi farm because of your past memories? Well, actually, I've been having these dreams about a town. I have no idea where it is, but if I go there, I might be able to find out about myself when I was really strong. Well, if that was the case, you should have told me about it. I would have helped you find it. But I'm not even sure if it exists, because it was in my dream. <clears throat> even if I did, I wouldn't know where it is, and I didn't want to bother you about it. <coughs> oh, my throat is not enjoying my, my, my voice acting today. <laughs> it's no bother at all, really. I'd be happy to help. <coughs> I am your tamer, after all. Matt! Thanks. All right, so what is this place like, anyway? Well, let me see. It had tall cliffs and lots of fossils around it surrounding the area. I've never been to any place like that. Let's go ask around and see if anybody knows about it. Uh, a location like that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, easy enough. Did you farm report? You know what? Sure, why not? Let's check in with the guys. Angelo, still 22. Nobody here leveling. Nope. 
Lots, lots of stat gains, but not much leveling. Hmm. Malagarn needs to get levels and not be friendly, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, Darius and Kai, our our Ogremon and our Kumamon, are sitting pretty. Darius has a lot of leveling to do as well. And over in the Cyber Farm, Xander and Sigma continue to grow. Xander is our Gatsumon, Sigma is our Wormmon, who I also have big hopes for. He's level 16 now. We should go check in on him, actually. Because there's a reason I have Wormmon in the Cyber Farm. I will show you what it is. Let's see if anybody has uh, the potential to, to Digivolve. But for now, oh, uh, sorry, the Fishy Farm's here, too, as well. You're at 33. Cause see, Mega Seedramon here, Orm, rather, he is in his ultimate form. He's one of our few ultimate Digimon. And he's got a long way to go where he can reach Metal Seedramon or Giga Seedramon. 6,000 and 10,000 Aquan experience. So he's just sort of sitting here soaking it up. A long way to go. He's up to 2,850. He's not even close. He's not even halfway. Man, that's crazy. How about the Odinson? Odin son, I have grown in my exile. Well, he's five levels off of Zudomon. Which is of course the reason why I called him Odin son, because look at that hammer. Look at the size of it. EX damage three. Oh, increases skill damage. Oh, very nice. Not sure what, not sure what it becomes after that, but. Oh, and for, uh, description, Crabmon digivolves into Caesarmon, and then doesn't evolve, uh, does not digivolve after that, which is kind of a letdown. Kamemon digivolves into Guapamon, and that's also it. So, honestly, aside from the, uh, Ikakumon line, he's a little bit of a letdown, but this line's pretty good. So they're growing, no digivolutions there. How about the Gatsumon side? Because you're, you're waiting on Minotaurumon, if I recall correctly. Because he could digivolve to Aerodramon, but he doesn't have any, any additional forms. Whereas Minotaurumon digivolves into Cyberdramon, and then unfortunately Ghoulmon, which is kind of a drag, really. Because Cyberdramon is supposed to digivolve into Justamon, as uh, Lauren pointed out uh, over at Thornacris Art. Uh, but Ghoulmon here is what we get in this game, which is kind of a letdown as well. But we're almost there. Ten, well, 10 levels until Minotaurumon, which is a bit of a drag, but oh well. And our Wormmon Sigma is one level off of maximum, so he might be able to digivolve now. Let's have a look. Oh, we can. Excellent. Wormmon Digivolve Tool. Stangmon! I did that way too early. Look at him. Oh, he's so intimidating looking. Like, imagine, imagine if bugs looked like that in real life. Just, you'd, you'd, you'd be terrified. Okay, so Sigma is now a Stingmon. He can digivolve into Dino Beemon, Megadramon, or Kongomon, which requires the Miracle Digiac, which we actually have. Kongomon is an armor Digimon. He is a tank. He seems to be carrying a bunch of wrenches. They're not wrenches, obviously, but they look kind of like wrenches. Uh, he gets the Frugal trait, which increases the bits you get from battle, which is actually kind of tempting. Um, Dino Beemon is cool in that he resembles, like, w w what would happen if, um, X of Emon and Stigmon DNA digivolved and came out the wrong way. I mean, he's kind of cool but kind of weird at the same time. It's Alertness. He's a Speed-type Digimon. But the, 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 the really interesting one for me is Megadramon, here in the middle. Because, as I've mentioned before, Mega Dramon and Giga Dramon are super cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of these, like, mechanical dragon guys. And he's the middle one. He requires level 35 and a bunch of mechanical experience, which is why I have them set up in the um, Cyber Farm. He requires th uh, 3,000 machine experience. He's up to 2,300. So not, 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 not too far off, actually. He should have that well in hand. Over on the Beast Farm, Darius and Kai. Darius, I believe I was angling for Etamon, which would make Description pretty happy. He has 15 levels to go, though, although he, although he has reached his uh, level quote. Or sorry, his experience quote. 
And Metal Edamon requires 54 and a whole bunch of defense. Also, Piedmon's here for some reason. Not quite sure why that is, but he's there. Since he has the experience he needs, though, I might go ahead and put him back in the other farm. Just so he can get, you know, crazy, crazy stat gains. Because he's, he's already overpowered. May as well fully commit. To the basic farm. Whereas Kai just got here, he's still new here. He's a little, little, little fuzzy bear with a baseball cap and arm wraps. And he digivolves into Grismon, or far more significantly, Leomon. Who does not love Leomon? Look at this guy. Fist of the Beast King all the way home. But he requires a certain amount of beast experience and level 32, which is a pretty tall order. Matter of fact, we can't even do it yet. So we'll be digivolving into Grismon first, and we'll have to go from there. Lots to do. And then the, the, the main farm is just the main farm. You know, same as ever. A million and one Digimon all working away. Although, given the fact that we're now getting into, into zones that have so much, like, experience to be gained per fight, it might, it, it's, it's, it's kind of become more worth it, I guess, to actually have some of them with us. So, the farm is getting more and more useful for, like, either gaining specific types of, of, of experience, or for stat gaining. You're still six levels off, dang. Mm. <laughs> like, we could probably take Roxanne with us. She would, be, would be fine. She needs more, more friendship anyway, to evolve to, to Togemon. So maybe I'll do that. I'll we'll, we'll uh, take Roxanne with us. Move to party. Um, Quaid. I don't really care about well that much. No offense, Quaid. Um, that's probably good for now. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry, it's a little bit on the shorter side. We got to Mangrove Woods and we sell that stuff. We need to go talk, uh, ask, ask around for this uh, fossil place, and we'll get on to there. We have our Growlmon. Oh, actually, one thing I almost forgot. I saw that uh, Mordecai leveled while we were fighting Deramon. Actually, the fight before Deramon. Which means it's time for him to Digivolve as well into Gaugamon. Gao, incidentally, is the Japanese onomatopoeia, which is like a sound effect word for roar. He is, he is the roaring Digimon, but now he's evolved, uh, Digivolved into Gaugamon, who is a big kung fu dog, apparently. There's like a, like a Shiba Inu tail kind of thing going on. 314 attack because holy crap. Speed a little bit better. Still, still on the slow side. He's just a big, powerful dog. He digivolves into Mach Gaugamon, who looks like a freaking, you know, who, who looks like a werewolf and a Gundam had a baby. So, you know, look, look forward to that. He gets the Gladiator skill, which hugely increases skill damage, which is the which is actually the, the main draw for for getting him. But I mean, besides looking awesome, he requires three thousand. Uh, sorry, uh, level thirty-two and twenty-five hundred beast experience, which is not too bad because we already have it. But he's right where he needs to be. What about Oryx? You getting close to Digivolution into Platinum Sukumon? I always forget what he needs for that. Oh yeah, we're we're ugh, we're more than good enough for that. What have I been doing? Okay, three champion Digimon coming up. His speed is really good, actually. His defense isn't moving at all for this one, but then his defense is really high. Platinum Sukumon, which is unfortunate because he's you know he's shaped like poop. Not real keen on having him stay in this particular level, uh, sorry, state for, for too long. No, not Eryx, Oryx. No, not Anix. What are you doing? Stop messing with my spelling. Leave it alone. Thank you. Thank you. He needs to be level 34 to become Metal Mamemon. And then, I believe beyond that, he could become Prince Mamemon. But I'm not sure if we'll do that this time around. We'll see, though. Can't see Mega Forms yet. Oh, well, we'll get there. So there we go, we have our champion party. Not all of them look like champions though. So, yeah. But oh well. Beggars cannot be choosers, and neither can Digimon Tamers, I guess. So thanks so much for watching once again. If you, uh, you know, uh, enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a, a like or a comment. It's always great to talk to you guys and to know I'm doing, you know, a decent job. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open to those as well. And for now, a Monster Mad out. Have a great rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>